I mean, it's just he, he was who he is and who he has been for the last several years, and there's going to be that consistency in, in what he does and how he goes about doing his job. And I thought maybe the most important thing he said and that he emphasized throughout was just that he's going to be himself. He's not going to try to be Sean Payton. And look, it's not going to work if you try to be somebody else. And I think, honestly, that's the biggest issue with a lot of Bill Belichick's assistants who go out. They try to be Belichick, and they fail. So Dennis Allen needs to be just Dennis Allen, do it how he does it, and it sounds like he's going to be committed to approaching the job that way. And beyond that, what I felt, and honestly, this is the only approach that could possibly work for him, he wasn't intimidated by the Sean Payton legacy. Like, he gets all that, and he gets the team's place in New Orleans and how important it is and how big it is and how he's going to be judged. He talked about being 39 years old when he took the Oakland job with the implication that, you know, at 39, maybe he wasn't quite ready at that point. Now he's 49, a whole, a whole different guy. He seemed like a guy, and, and we don't know yet if he's going to be successful or not, but he seemed like a guy who gets it at a lot of levels. He gets what he's following. He gets what the team means to the city of New Orleans. Did you take that away, too? Yeah, absolutely. Look, if you're going to make a bet on any one of these candidates, there was one guy that was always the safest bet, yeah. the smartest bet, the soundest bet, and you got to wait and see how everything unfolds you don't know how a candidate is until it's done but he's proven everything here he's proven it in this building they know him when a guy is in your building and you know what he can do you got to give him the shot and it's not the unknown it's not the exciting guy coming from the outside but i think the safe bet and the smart bet for this team is dennis allen and i think we saw that up there the things he talked about knowing that he was the right guy for the job it seems like a very easy choice for this team to make it really did and we said that inside the indoor facility when Sean Payton was done. And then a lot of the candidates came up and we thought, well, that guy would be a good candidate. But but in the end, he did turn out to be the best candidate. The one thing we don't know is what kind of offense he's going to run. What have you heard and what would you guess as to how the offensive side of this is going to play out? Look, there's a lot of talk right now about maybe Pete Carmichael going into a different role. So for the first time in 16 years, this team might not be defined by Sean Payton's offense. And that leads to a lot of unknowns and a lot of differences in a different philosophy and, and just changes really the foundation of this team if it is not that offense because we know what type of players fit in that. We know how they're going to approach games. Now, if they're doing things differently for the first time in forever, that could be the major change here in the thing that kind of rocks the identity of this team more so than just if it's Dennis Allen and Pete Carmichael. It's kind of business as usual. The two vice presidents kind of coming and, and running and, and pushing things forward. And now we might be upon a time where there is a major philosophical change in how this team operates. And, and, it, and it may be, although one of the one of his first lines was that um, he likes what's in place from a coaching staff and expects that to stay. And look, this team, the, it was not the Sean Payton team in the first 12 or 13 years, but, but certainly this past year and the year before, it was an elite defense and an elite special teams unit. I think that's the one thing that got lost in this maybe a little bit was what a a spectacular job Darren Rizzi has done the last two years with the special teams. So you got two thirds that should be locked in with the personnel coming back should be a really good and offense is where all the question is right now, right? Yeah, it's everything right now. The quarterback, the the system that they're going to run, all of it are things that need to be answered. And really, we aren't going to know what this team's going to look like until we do know the answers to those questions. I'd say the good thing is, is that the way they played last year, the offense really can't go too much lower. If they just get some good players, they're going to be better than they were last year. So at least from that standpoint, they're in a decent place because they can only go up from here. Yeah, I would agree with that 100%. And, and look, the one guy that, that I know Sean Payton talked about a few days ago was Mike Thomas. We do expect to. Now we're starting to see where maybe we will get a full Mike Thomas back, right? Yeah, everything that I've heard is that he's on board, he's all in. Any of the uh, bad feelings that, that were between him and the team are, are in the past. He's still recovering from a second surgery he got in November, but it is going in the right direction, and they do expect him to be ready for the offseason program. Yeah, there are a lot of questions to be answered. Uh, certainly how all the pieces fit together. I think you might see Mickey Loomis now with more with more of a voice in personnel matters. Sean Payton ran this, pretty much ran everything on the football side. You might see more of a collaborative effort. Would you expect that now? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I, like you said, I think Sean Payton earned a, a position earned where, where he, right. he could do a little bit more and kind of have more of that full control. I don't know if it's going to be the same setup right away, but look, over time, I think things will, will settle, they'll shift, and, and, they'll, and they'll get to a point where you know, if he earns that, he has it, but he's going to have to earn it, and it's probably going to be a little bit more of an of a even voice situation. Yeah.